Hello my friends and welcome back to GZ Codes. In today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about the Windows Virtual Desktop feature and why Komorebi does not use or support it. So this topic has come up multiple times over the years on the GitHub, on the Discord, and it's always some variant of this. A user would like to use virtual desktops with Komorebi. Microsoft has made their position on this very clear. So if you take a look and take a read of this article by Raymond Chen, uh, the official position is that Virtual desktops are a win window management feature, not a security feature or a performance feature. Furthermore, they are for end users to organize their windows, not other programs to organize the windows. Um, yeah, where to start? This is incredibly dumb. This is incredibly dumb because end users also want to use programs to organize their windows, right? That's literally what everybody wants. Everybody wants to be able to programmatically organize their windows. But for whatever reason, Microsoft continues to double down on this. There is um, an interface in the Win32 API called iVirtual Desktop Manager. If we go and take a look at this, it exposes three, three methods. Get window desktop ID, is window on current virtual desktop, and move window to desktop. If this looks like a deliberately hamstrung public API, that's because it is a deliberately hamstrung public API. It is not possible to build on top of this API. Uh, it's it's, I don't know, let's say it's not possible to build a tiling window manager with workspaces on top of this API. Now, there are people out there like Ciantic, my buddy Ciantic, who, um, who helped with the cloak feature in Komorebi, um, who have, who continue to, three weeks ago, who continue to basically reverse engineer the private um, functions and they get like GUIDs and stuff for comment. I don't really understand it. They do a lot of really cool stuff. And so in doing so, they give end users access to these methods which Windows developers can use for their features, but are not made available to the rest of us for reasons. Now, you might be thinking, hey, why don't you just, why don't you just use this? The problem is, right, the problem is between different Windows updates, these reverse engineered and exported methods, they stop working. And then you, you have to wait for somebody to find the, the GUIDs of the, the latest COM object. Um, maybe if I have a look at master here. Uh, where are they? Oh, there, there's a C-sharp version. I think that's uh, a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, you, you, got, you got to look up all this stuff and you got to figure it out. And this breaks between 
yeah, these things. Uh, and you know, these break in between um, Windows updates. So what ends up happening is through no fault of the developer, somebody, an end user, goes and updates Windows, and then the tiling window manager, if it's using, you know, these um, uh, these these private methods, the tiling window manager just stops working. What the hell? How the hell are you supposed to support this? Fix this? It's it's really really insane. How? Just just how? Right? Um, and so I I have written on this thread that regarding the reverse engineered APIs for virtual desktops that you may have seen elsewhere, these frequently break with Windows updates and are not stable enough to include in this code base. Because right, like if I push a bad commit, I introduce a regression or a new bug, like that's on me, okay? Like I can live with that, I can own that, I can fix that because that's on me because I made a mistake. Or, you know, if I merge something, you know, I, I did not uh, I did not test thoroughly enough, I did not review thoroughly enough, that's all on me. But what I cannot accept is the idea that these people at Microsoft push a Windows update and a percentage, an unknown, unknowable percentage of my user base has their tiling window management functionality broken. Like that's just, to me, that is not okay. Um, people don't really understand this because um, a lot of people are end users and they're not really developers who are shipping things to, I don't even know how many people use Common Revy now. Let's see, what are the latest numbers? 50,000 downloads and how many stars? 6,000 stars. So let's say, I don't know, between 10, 20,000 users. Like, you know, I don't think a lot of the people who are like, hey, just use this. Um, yeah, it's the context is not the same. So ultimately, I wrote on this issue, this will forever remain an issue that needs to be resolved by the multi trillion dollar company and not by a single unemployed solo developer. That is me, but as of next week, I will not be unemployed anymore. Yay. Um, right, so why did I want to make this video? Uh, enter Fancy WM. Uh, and you know, this user says, I've been using Fancy WM lately due to it not implementing workspaces by itself and just using virtual desktops, which works wonderfully, but I find its lack of automatic BSP very unappealing. So, Fancy WM uses these reverse engineered functions to build its um, its workspace management on top of the Windows Virtual Desktops feature. However, Komorebi, uh, Glaze WM, Wim, uh, Workspacer, if you remember, Workspace, uh, I think it's unmaintained now. Um, one of the greats that came before us, uh, Nog as well. I believe this was the very first tiling window manager for Windows written in Rust. All of us, right? We implement our own, our own uh, workspace abstraction. So in the case of Komorebi, Komorebi holds a list of physical monitors. Uh, a monitor is erect with the available work area and it contains one or more virtual workspaces. This is what I'm talking about. And then the workspace holds the containers and then the containers hold the windows. And that's how you get stacks, right? You can stack multiple windows in a single container. So we do this, right? And that gives us more fine-grained control because basically we build the API to interact with our workspaces so it gives us a lot more flexibility and so we can implement methods even even more fine-tuned and fine-grained than these 
uh, reverse engineered ones for our own needs. Uh, but yeah, lately uh, a number of people came into the Komorebi Discord um, and I, I kept seeing that, you know, oh, Fancy WM stopped working, I'm looking for something else. Uh, should I use Komorebi? Should I use Glaze WM? Should I use UM? What should I use? Um, and so I decided to, to look into this a little bit. So on the Fancy WM issue tracker, uh, in the new vision, uh, let me try that again. In the new version of Windows 11, the change of desktops doesn't work. And when changing between them, the stack programs deorganize. It sounds like, it sounds like these changed in an update. So, uh, a lot of people are reporting this. I think this is still open. Um, I'm not really sure about the release process, but this is something that has to be done every time Windows ships a breaking change. And so how does that look in a code base? Right, so uh, fancy WM depends on uh, Winman Windows. And so Winman Windows, this is the underlying library, it has this um, interface, Win32 Virtual Desktop Service. Um, and, you know, it has these methods that the interface needs to implement. And then, you come and you look here, you have uh, Win32 Virtual Desktop Service 17661 22000. 22449 22621R2215. Uh, I think I think you you might you might be getting a, you know what what you have to do to make this work. So basically because you you have no way of knowing which Windows version an end user has installed at some point in the code base you basically need to have a big old switch case uh, where you check the version that the user is running um, and I think these call into uh, into the com package right and so like you know you have these these com interfaces with the GUIDs and I believe these change every time so icom virtual desktop in build 17661 it starts with ff72 here like it starts with 5360 so the folks at microsoft they they're just breaking this all the time they don't care they don't care about you they don't care about me they just want to break stuff and put more ads into the the start menu but if you try and build on top of, of this stuff, um, you can you can get it to work to a point. But then Windows is going to ship something, and people are going to update, and it's going to remain broken for all of those people until you reverse engineer the latest um, whatever the hell you need for these COM interfaces. Uh, you commit that you add a new switch case to be able to look up you know which build are we targeting for this and you need to cut a brand new release um yeah i i cannot work and live like this and that is why i refuse i refuse to even touch virtual desktops until Microsoft reverses their position. And fundamentally, fundamentally, I believe that this is an issue that all users, all users that want this, like if you want this in Komorebi, you need to get in touch with people who you know working on Windows at the multi-trillion dollar company. Because this is above my pay grade. I don't have a pay grade right now. I certainly don't have a pay grade at Microsoft. 
and like this is this is beyond me right and i have i have personally reached out to a number of people including mr raymond chen uh, i have some online friends who work at microsoft in in various positions and they've given me referrals to people who are working uh, on windows teams in this area uh, i've messaged them i've reached out to them and i've just been ignored so it's it's not for lack of trying but i don't know maybe if a significant number of people um use their voices collectively collective action i don't know but basically this one is not on me uh you got to do something to convince the people working at microsoft on virtual desktops to provide a complete stable virtual desktops api in win32 that's what you got to do that's what you got to do all right i did not intend for this video to reach 16 minutes 16 minutes of me uh breaking down why Como Rebi doesn't use virtual desktops all right i think that's enough i think that is more than enough i'm gonna go back to um what am i gonna go back to doing updating the documentation website for Como Rebi, which is coming along very very nicely if i can get the url right look at this we got common workflows we got getting started we got an entire cli reference you can you can search for things it's gonna be really good um stay tuned the version 0.1.20 uh release should be dropping this week i'm gonna do that live on a video uh yeah pretty pretty excited all right my friends that is it for this time i hope that whatever you will do today you have a great great day free palestine and i'll see you all back here next time